All right, my next guest, special treat, really good friends of mine from the uh, new independent film, Take It Back. We have actor Peter Gordio with special guest Artie Pasquale from The Sopranos. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, fellas? Hey, Johnny, how are you? How you doing? Nice. Artie, John. my man, how you doing, buddy? Very good, and you? Good to see you guys. It's great to be here. How did, how, you got here okay? Yeah, no problem. The Pope's in Manhattan. We're in Staten Island. You know, You're more important to us than the Pope. Listen, what's the Pope? The Pope don't pay our rent. That's you know? exactly right. <laughs> Just like Robert De Niro said. Pete, when did you start acting? I started 25 years ago in The Bronx Tale, Robert De Niro's first directorial debut, which uh -huh. was written by Chaz Palminteri, uh -huh. who's a tremendous talent. And I went on, and I was in New York Broadway play Tony and Tina's Wedding. That's right. That was a big thing. Yeah, it was big. Down what, at Waverly Place in Manhattan. What year? It had to be early 90s. Well, my That's when I worked for Mr. Trump, did who you... I endorsed him for President of the United States, 2016. Now, you also did the other thing, uh, Murder? What is Murder that? Murder by the Mob. Yeah, I'm in that production mob. now. That production's been running for 20 years. And Mr. Ron Pacey, may he rest in peace, he passed away last year. And another fellow actor, Mr. John Marola, took over the production. And we're up and running, and we're on 38th Street and Broadway in Manhattan. What's the name of the house? It's Arnold's Restaurant. The lower level is the theater. Okay. It's 38th and Broadway, Manhattan. And we're also going to be at the Broadway Comedy Club. We're going to do a matinee show there and the evening show on 38th and Broadway. You got to let me know. Told yeah, me definitely. Some, come down. Told me some comp tickets my way. Not a problem. Johnny P gets comp Not VIP. Not a problem. You're on that guest list. <laughs> Look at Artie <already> list. <laughs> <laughs> now, the new movie that you, you're in. Yeah, we just had a premiere, Take It Back. It was at the Glen Cove Theater. It was August 31st, and that's a tremendous production. Uh -huh. As we speak now, that's on the table for many cable programming. And we're getting ready to shoot episode two. Okay. And it has a tremendous cast. Mr. Pasquale is one of the top actors in the production. Uh -huh. And uh, it was written by Rocco Joya and Phil Castro, two Bronx natives who we love dearly, and it's their first project, and they give us nothing but facts. And this project is different than any other project because it shows the actual mobsters starting from the bottom of the barrel. Like when you watch The Godfather, you uh -huh. watch Casino, you watch Goodfellas, everybody's already made. And I have one of the leads. I play Al Bonatelli. And you're going to actually see me at the bottom of the barrel working my way up through the ranks and get into a level of organized crime that's called uh, Take It Back. That's awesome. I yeah, it is. It's great. Where were all those pictures taken? That, that was from the screening? Where was that? That was at the premiere. Okay. At the premiere. See, I found out about a lead. I was away. I would have loved to come and hang out with you guys. Look, you had a good time. Oh, we had a great night. Who was Who's the lady evening. you interviewed you? She was good. I watched that. It was that. Uh, Gail King. Gail. A, Gail right. and Shelly Cohen, who are very dear friends of ours. I and think we she were... said she was Miss, uh, one time, Miss... Uh... Uh, Miss America? Miss Amer Miss... Miss um... Mrs. America. Yeah, Mrs. Am Mrs. Yeah, America, Mrs. Lady Senior Lady. America. Oh yeah, right. What, what is she like? Eighty years old? No, 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 no. <laughs> no I'm not. Yeah. I'm not going to give up her age. I'm but she's a stunning joking. woman, and we love her daily. And she no, comes. Just... Yeah, she covers all Jesus. our events, and we're very excited to have her. I'm also in a production called Snitches that was just entered into the Hollywood Film yeah, Festival. Yeah, that looks good too. Who's some yeah. of the stars in that? That's um, Daniel O'Shea, yeah, Deborah yeah. Toscano. You know, uh, Ken Garella, John Marola is also in that production. And the uh, director is Steve Rahman uh -huh. from Rahman Studios. Now, you know who was here a couple of years back? Good friend of ours, Paul Bergese. You oh, involved with his movie, yeah, too, I'm, right? I'm in Paul's production called Back in the Day uh -huh. that was written, produced, and stars William DeMeo. William DeMeo. Right, and Alec Baldwin, Michael Madsen, Danny Glover, Mike Tyson, Annabella Sciorra. It's an all-star cast. You know who was also here from there? Ronnie Marmo was oh, Ron, oh, Ronnie's great. Ronnie Ma was just in from L.A. Ronnie's such a good guy. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah, on General and, Hospital. Yeah, and I play Rocco, Alec Baldwin's main man. All right, cool. And I just came back from L.A. I'm going to be shooting the Vanessa Del Rio story, which is director Thomas Maggioni. Uh -huh. I got six weeks' worth of work out there that stars uh, Drea DiMatteo, Dane Cook, Michael Rappaport, Rosie Perez. You know, and I'm looking forward to being in that production. You're good. You should be on the radio. You got like a good <laughs> radio personality voice. Yeah. He, yeah. Can, he remembers everything. I can't yeah, remember. And I'm also, and that's I'm also, good. Right? And I'm also shooting a fitness video with the stunning Amber Lynn. Oh. And it's going to be released at the end of the year of 2015, you know, and it's a mainstream project. And it's going to be fitness training, nutrition, anti-aging supplementation. I thought you were doing it. What was that guy's name? Richards. What's his name? Oh, Richard Simmons? Yeah. I did. Yeah, no, we're not doing Richard Simmons. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Yeah. Yeah. You would do Richard. Might, oh. Yeah. Yeah, no. No. Now, listen, before, before we get to Artie, tell me about the Donald Trump thing. Well, I worked for Donald for nine years. Back you know? in the day? Yeah, I was part of his elite security crew. That's great. That was a you lot know, of fun, Yeah, right? with him and his family and the kids and stuff like that. You know, and Donald's great. You know, he's, he's a straight shooter. He's a smart man. 
and he wants to bring the country back to where it was when he was growing Listen up. Listen to me, a lot of people don't agree with him. I love him. Yeah, he's a little bit nuts, and he should just mellow it down. But, you know, when he was on Jimmy Fallon, he was low-key. He, 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 like, brought himself down to talk normal without busting everybody's... Listen, I'm a ball buster. Right, I love that. Right. You're running for the president. You know, you got to be a little humble. You know, he, he had his yeah, fun. But you know what it is? You get to the point in your life where you just had it. Yeah. You know, and if you were worth $10 billion, and you see each and every day, your empire is decreasing because the country is at its weakest point right now. You're not going to be too happy. Yeah, like Trump, you know, you know, Trump he doesn't Plaza. have a job. You know, he doesn't work for a union. He's not collecting a pension. He employs hundreds of thousands of people. He's not happy. And a lot of American people are not happy either. So he's got it to put it out there and to get the country back on his side and put the country back to where it needs to be. I look at it like Strong. this. He's a guy that doesn't want to lose money. He's putting his own money in. So I, he's not full of shit. Do you guys think he's going to take this seriously? or? <laughs> I don't know. It's a hit or miss. So, but listen, all the best and good yeah, luck with everything. Behind him, we endorse him, and whatever decision that he comes to. Listen, any, anything and anybody's better than Obama. And I'm sorry if you Obama lovers, but he kind of threw he kind of threw the dirt on the coffin. You know, but at least with Donald Trump being the president of the United States, the American people are safe because they know he's successful and he's a winner, and he's not going to let the country get defeated. End the story. You're right. Oh. End the story. <laughs> well, listen, good luck with everything Thank that you, you're doing. Sit with us for take a little a while. Take a breath and relax. That's it. Take, <laughs> take, take a toe. Yeah. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Let's take a well, shot. Who's oh got wow. the shots? Artie, what's going on, buddy? Well, You've been quite busy. To... I don't have that memory that Peter has. I, I can't remember what I had to eat yesterday. I got a great shot. Don't ask me about politics. I don't want to discuss no, it. Long term memory is, is awesome. My short term memory is, is out the window. But listen, since the last time you were here with Vinny Paz, the five time world champion, yeah. What were you doing a movie with him? You did some work with him? Yeah, it's Is called that... uh, Bleed for This. It was shot up in Rhode Island. Vinny Pazienza was this great boxer up in New England, had a serious car accident, said he would never walk again, broke yeah. his back, and fast forward, came back to fight for the championship again. He had fought against Duran and those guys later on Five in life. Five-time world champion. But it was, yeah, Scorsese was involved in that, and, and Vinny Paz, we, we, had a, we developed a good friendship. We had a good time that, that night. Yeah. Now, what's the yeah. deal with that? Is there any kind of release date? Because I don't know. You know, you never know when they get released. But it was, it was nice. It was nice. Now, you've been doing a lot of independent films. The one that has the biggest buzz right now that I want to know about, people who ask me, Lily of the Feast. You got starring David Preval, right? Yeah, that was Paul a while Savino. back. Paul Savino, David Preval, and it was uh, directed by Federico Castelluccio, who played Furio in The Sopranos. He's the fellow that had the ponytail and was flirting with Tony Soprano's wife. Yep. Anyway, that's in the Toronto Film Festival now and going to the Venice Film Festival, which are, like, two of the biggest in the world. So we'll see what happens. And they just, they, when did they wrap up edit with that production? Probably, like, almost a year right now, half a well, year? I don't know. Yeah, probably half a year, yeah. And I've been doing a few other independents. I did a nice feature called um, American Fango. Uh, as a matter of fact, I was shooting a little thing today with Lou Martini. You know Lou Martini. Lou Martini's another, called another great guy. Called Honor. They're hoping that that goes someplace. And... It's just been a number of independent films that seems to be the way to go nowadays. So you just plug along and whatever happens, and I'm starting to work on a little play with the Vincent Pastore and a couple of people. A good friend, Vinny. Did you go, did you go to the play Queen for a Day? Yes, it was good. David Preval was unbelievable. I was very impressed by his acting. David Preval, if you don't know, he was in uh, Shawshank Redemption and uh, Mean Streets, and he played Richie April on The Sopranos, evil-looking guy. Um, and Janice, Tony's sister, was the one. He sh she shot him at the dinner table. I don't know if you remember. He was such a great character. He's a terrific guy and a great actor. I learned a lot from him. When he ran over Beansy, you remember that? <laughs> yeah, you know, that Soprano show has been off the air now for like eight years. Wow. You think about it. We were talking about that the other day because we recently just had a reunion with Mike Vupa. We've been away from each other 10 years, but when we were together, the Sopranos were huge. We used to have Van Pratt's and watch the Sopranos religiously yeah. every week. I go, you believe this fucking Sopranos? It's, off, it's, it's been off the air that long now? Yeah, wow. eight, eight years. Yeah. But it seems like it's, it's, it's such a great uh, series. I always go through my, I tell everybody yeah. the same story all the time. I go through the, the whole season, the whole box set, at least once a year to get my, my fill of the Sopranos. But there's a whole cult that there's some people you bump into, they know every person. A guy from Norway, I mean, I'm like a minor player. A guy tapped me on the shoulder on Mulberry Street. I st was startled to turn around in his own accent. I can't do a Norwegian or Swedish accent, but always comes out Indian for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, he said, You're, uh, I'm doing it again. You're uh, Bert Gervais, Silvio Strangulio on The Sopranos. This guy's from Norway, you know. It's, 
So it was just one of those fantastic shows. But getting back to, I want to get back to this, take it back, yeah. not to take away f from Peter. It was a fun, these young guys put this thing together and uh, it was really gr a fun time doing it, right Pete? And yeah, it, it was, was great, we had a great yeah. time shooting this yeah. project. So hopefully that'll, you know, it's all money. I want to see it. Down to. Here, let me put it. You gotta send me a link. Yeah. Don't, don't you, usually the filmmakers got the private link on Vimeo, they give me the password when I go in. I'll phone, do so you have that little clip that you can air now? Yes, yeah, so that's right. We got the clip yeah, for you. In the clip. control room. Yeah, let's control room. Why don't we show a little clip of that? Uh, take it back. Take it Respect back. Respect Productions. That's it. Come on, you got it. Can we just pay to get it fixed? Listen, kid. When you build something, you'll appreciate it a lot more. Now, if you pay for a job and it starts to fall apart, you're not going to care. You're going to get someone to try and fix it. But when you build something with your hands, you not only fix the problem, but you make it better. Now, these bastards want to take everything from me. Everything from my family. Everything I love, they want to take from me. I'm a Botticelli. Nice. Oh, Looking good that's there, Petey right? boy. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, right? Excellent. Nice clip. No, definitely. Yeah. So. And that's a flashback scene, you know, because actually I'm in prison. Is and it, my nephew's out in the street and he's taking control of the family. Is it, full, is it a full movie or is it a short? Well, it's episode one. Okay. It's a television series. So what is it, half hour, an hour? Well, the, the project that was released at the theater, it was, it was a little over an hour. Okay. Or just about an hour. Cool. You know, but it's going to be a uh, television project. And it would just, like I mentioned earlier, it's on, you know, it's on the table now with many cable programming. So listen, fellas, uh, thank you for coming. Oh, Johnny, thank you for having us. Come back it's, anytime. It's, it's, and Artie, you going to co-host with me again this year, right? We'd love to. You My come pleasure. in once a year? My pleasure. Thank you. All right, let's give it up for Peter Gordio and Artie Pasquale. <laughs> About that time to say I'll goodbye tonight. I'd like to thank all our guests for coming. Uh, I'd like to thank Paulie from Nucci's Restaurant and Sunline Bagels for all the food you guys ate. Thank you. You'll need to uh, find out information on the show. JohnnyPTV.com. Get home safe. I'm Johnny P. Good night.